Hello everyone, I'm the Nerdy Fool, and welcome to Half-Life 2, a new game on the channel, which we will be trying. So, I did play a bit of Half-Life 2 when I was much younger. Uh, I think I made it to Raven... Raven Home? Is that what it's called? Around that time frame, when I first tried playing it. Uh, and it was a much scarier location, and so I just kind of bailed on it there. I've seen bits and pieces. I remember my older brother playing through all the Half-Life games, and so I'm sure there's pieces I might recognize. But probably after that point, most of it will be generally blind. But I might recognize pieces of this opening. But as it is, let's start it up and see how the game goes. Yeah, obviously no chapters unlocked yet. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. He's so creepy. Point insertion. Okay. Once again, we start on a train. I didn't see you get on. Third transfer this year. No matter how many times I've been relocated, I never get used to it. Well, end of the line. Whoa, stop shoving, man. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You Does this game have subtitles? Combat difficulty, it defaults to easy. Enemies are easy to defeat. Computer helps you aim. Challenging enemies, your weapons do normal damage. Hard enemies, enemies are very tough and weapons are less effective. I feel like I should be playing on normal because it's called normal, but the game defaults to easy. And I don't want to increase the difficulty beyond the default. Because I'm bad at shooters. Um, I don't see... Subtitles showing up. Captioning. Hey. Uh, probably just subtitles. I don't need closed captioning. We'll try normal, and if I get destroyed easily, then I might move it back to easy and assume easy is where I should be playing at. This goes poorly. Well, we'll see how it goes. Not chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, Welcome to City 17. It's safer here. The idea of having cities that are numbered just feels very foreign. And it's not a good sign for your society. Aren't you guys usually shooting electricity at me? Welcome 
Welcome to City 17. With this stuff, it's you all have I have chosen left. or been chosen to relocate all right, to one I'm of our finest you. remaining urban centers. I you thought the so only much ones on that train? 17 that I elected to establish my Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and the took my husband so for questioning. They said he'd be on the next train. I've been I'm not proud sure when that was. Did they're, they're being nice, though, and letting so, me wait for him. You, are here to stay or pass you don't know how long that's been? Presumably he was not on the next train. City 17. It's safer here. Yeah, they definitely improved the physics engine in this game. <laughs> and yes, I remember the citizen pick up the can, which we'll be getting to soon. Welcome. Welcome to Don't drink the water. 17. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. I mean, I don't remember how I got on that train. I was just suddenly there. Never gets on, but they're always they're always departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always. you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown. I see. They took your suitcase too. They can't get away with this much longer. They took your suitcase. I'm working up the nerve to go on. Doctor Breen again. I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I wouldn't say that too loud. This is his base of operations. Do we know the name Dr. Breen? There were a bunch of scientists that didn't have names. I don't remember Breen specifically. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our first remaining Ow. urban centers. I thought so Am I going through here? That I to establish my administration here, in the Citadel so far from the world. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. You're not going to hit me? And so, whether you are here to stay this or... This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. Get out of here. Hey, eater of foods. Welcome. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with Civil Protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. You shouldn't have yes, a quota for Barney, beating. What is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man! That's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Okay. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. So yes, uh, eat our foods. I'm doing good. Uh, just starting a new game. Uh, I have played some of Half-Life 2 many years ago. But been a long time, so this is all still familiar enough. 
but we'll reach points eventually where I don't know what's going on anymore. But I'm wanting to get all the dialogue so I get all the story. Oh, that does not look safe. Alright, I didn't die. So tempted to just throw it at him. Oh. <laughs> oh no. He said you can go, which usually means you put it in the trash. Did I bounce it off his head to go into the trash? Because if so, trick shot. I gotta look. I don't see the can. I think I might have trick shot it off his head into the trash. Wish I'd seen it. You're in town, aren't you? Yep. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to join civil protection just to get a decent meal. Man, this society is... You ever played Stalker? I've not. Uh, I've heard of it, but never played it. Oh, this is a different statement. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks and cooked our first meals above a meager fire and started at the shadows that leapt upon the caverns of walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. I don't know if I want to listen to this whole speech. ...bound to unreasoning impulses. And today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. And like a cornered beast, it will not go down without a bloody fight. Instinct would inflict a fatal injury. Yeah, so I don't know how much time there's been between Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2. Or what the world was like in Half-Life 1. But I have a feeling it wasn't this like very totalitarian, we'll say, society. Like having speakers everywhere so that you can hear your mayor, governor, leader's voice constantly giving speeches is not a normal thing. The world was normal in Half-Life 1? I assume it was, but we only ever saw Black Dictator, yeah. Uh, we never really saw the world outside of Black Mesa. So we don't really know, or at least thus far, I don't know. I'm assuming that's a lock, possibly with a camera, to ensure the only people that go in are people who are supposed to. Guessing that means I'm not welcome there. Presumably the same thing here, yep. Yeah, they've got those locks on everything. Word of the wise. Keep it to yourself. Yeah, it's not a good look either. Nope. I was just walking off. Don't worry, man.
Yeah. Okay. No, I can't climb higher. Another box to drop down onto. Didn't even break the box. I'm gonna go this way. Hope you guys are all okay. This is how it always starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Yep, the tripods. I don't know their story at all. Obviously. I know... So I briefly, again, played a bit of Half-Life Alex when it first came out. And there's an early scene where you see one of those tripods. So I don't know it, their story either. How significant they are. But they're also a familiar creature because of that. I didn't get very far in Alex either. So pretty sure I'm not supposed to go in there. Yep, move along. Don't feel like challenging you. So this is the only open building. Why it doesn't have a door or a lock? I don't know. Since all the others do. Can't get out this way. Tripods are a heavily modified species of striders. Yeah, that doesn't tell me anything. Um, I feel like I should just go upstairs. I feel like I should not go upstairs. Guys don't have a door? Did they break your door? Why? Oh, hello. Attention, residents. Miscount detected in your block. Cooperation with your hey, you. Miscount? Head for the roof! There's no time to lose! So presumably, me being here has changed the count. Somehow they know. Yeah. I don't really understand how they know I'm the miscount. But my guess is they don't want me here. Is there a run button? Not that I can tell. Whoa! That looked like gunfire. Sorry, I can see chat is typing stuff, but I can't look at it at the moment. <laughs> I'm being shot. Uh, hang on. Where was I supposed to go? I feel like I was supposed to go here, and then the path just ended. Unless I can- oh, I can get in through there. Uh, ow, ow. Dr. Freeman, I presume. I better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Whoa. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. 
I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. Then how did you find me? Also, why am I the hero of this story when you are apparently way more capable? I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Do I remember a Dr. Vance from Black Mesa? Very few of the scientists had names, so... Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. I mean, yes, I stopped the alien invasion then, but it's like, barehanded, she managed to take out an entire platoon of... Funny, you showing up on those guys. In particular. So it's like if she had the super suit and all the weapons that Gordon Freeman had. Helping people escape the city on foot. Flash will have in this game. Route to my father's lab through the old canals. Today we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Okay, you think she took him out with a gun? Maybe. Nice to finally meet you. Seems like she has something on her hip. Where did she get to? Would be a gun. Maybe. Uh oh, everything all right, Doctor Kleiner? Oh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and. My goodness. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is it here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. <laughs> There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my ship, but okay. Yeah, so there was audio when she was attacking them, but it wasn't clear to me. I thought it was a thumping sound of punches, but it could have been gunshots, maybe. Get it off me! Lamar! There you are! I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me! Still gross. Up, up! No, not up there! No, no! Be careful, Lamar! Those are quite fragile! Oh, fie! It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. I'll take cats instead, thank you. Well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Okay. I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. <clears throat> the Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Seems useful. 
Let's get this show on the road. Oh, only 25%. Hey, thanks for the follow, Eater Foods. near the panel over there and wait for my word. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is. And it's our intention to send him packing... See, eat our foods. ...in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. Massless field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to C base and LT orbifold. No predictions. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. <laughs> in three, two, one. No fiddlesticks. What now? Okay. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, it's oh, oh, no! That is a terrible TV reception. Work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. <sighs> Thanks. Goodness, my relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. <laughs> all right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. Okay. Not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'll be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your pet, the freaking headhopper! Mark, let me go! There he is! He's Lamar with him! Get about that thing! Nope, Lamar's gone. What's going on? I'm not sure. It seems to be some kind of interference. Gordon, stay put! We'll get you out of there! Something is throwing him away! What's the meaning of this? Who are you? How did no you one? get in here? They think he's back! I'm getting him out of there! Don't worry, Gordon. We'll there he is. Oh, we're losing him again. The more I saw, I'm all but certain it was Gordon Freeman. He didn't come through. Then where is he? Behind you. <laughs> Shut it down. Shut it down. Gordon. No box this time. Yeah, it's a cool sequence. The winking in and out of different teleportation zones. Bunch of these camera bots. Am I already getting lost? <laughs> oh, hey, over there.
Well, can't seem to crouch under this. Hey, oh. Gordon! Hey! The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. <laughs> 